sitting here in the basement about to do another interview with uh, another Detroit bass player you know she's a Detroit bass player look at the shirt look at the button and everything and the groove and, and uh -huh. listen to that groove too yeah okay so we have with us a, a, another Detroit bass player could you tell us what your name is please my name is Cynthia Willis so we got Cynthia Willis and in the basement with us we got a few more Detroit bass players and uh, who we got there? Michael Fredericks. Mike Fredericks, you've been sitting in that same seat on all, every interview, man. Do you ever move? No, I, 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 not at all. Not at all. We are still have in the house with us none other than Mr. Tony Mo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Who else we got sitting in the house in the basement with us? Uh, uh, you have Chris Willis. Cynthia's my wife. Oh, uh, wait, uh, wait, wait, now, hold up. Now, now, notice how you say it. So, Cynthia's my wife. <laughs> right. And uh, do you play bass? I have not played a bass or picked one up seriously uh, in over 30 years since high school. But you did yeah, used to play did. bass. Quite a long time ago. Get out of here! Damn, there was a player. Look, and I digress. <laughs> <laughs> But I represent Detroit bass players. I let you go empty hand. See me next year. That is crazy. I've never said our first Detroit former Detroit bass player. Wow. What's the bass player? Always future Detroit bass player. Yeah. Uh, also, we got over way over back in the corner, looking sharp as a oh, tank. Step, yeah. step up, step up, step up, Mr. Klein. Mr. Klein, Mr. Klein, Mr. Klein. Detroit bass player. I'll, I'll, I'll have a vodka tonic. Shake as soon as I turn twenty-one. And also in the basement, in fact, Detroit bass player I think here. I think this guy spent yeah. more time in the. Actual basement than any of us, Mr. Reginald Candy. Yeah. 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 Thank you for uh, facilitator. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you for letting us use your facilities to do these uh, round tables. They call base round tables. Also, we got in the house with us. Who we got there? Dre Hill. Mr. Dre, Dre Hill. Hill. Yeah. Huh. Another Detroit, Detroit bass player. player. Producer. <laughs> record label owner. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the bottom end. <laughs> and uh, who else we got in the house with us? Uh, Ray Wellborn. Raymond Wellborn. And, and uh, also we got Pope. Nautic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and Pope and Stein. Boy, well, we can go on and on. Pope and Stein. Pope Philopolis. Pope Rica. Yeah. Pope Chops. I can keep going. Pope Chops. We, we can go on. All day. We're we going we to You know what, man? We're going to have to do that one day. Just, just see how far it so goes. <laughs> We also got in the house with us John Sargent. John Sargent, another bass player who built this monstrosity uh, right there. Wow. Uh, oh, that boy's uh, bad. We're going to talk to him a little bit. Uh -huh. And we also have another guy. What's your name? And I am not a thief. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Warren. Okay. He is a guy. AKA Alexander Monday. <laughs> <laughs> We okay, have to check so, the Detroit school system. <laughs> <laughs> Go back in the records. So we got all of these uh, bass players, Detroit bass players, formers, and futures, hanging out with us in the basement to help us do this interview with Cynthia. And uh, I like the, I always like to ask this question first. Sometimes I get a chance to, sometimes I don't. But that question is, when did you start playing the bass, and why? <laughs> I started because my brother has always been in a band. Uh, what did he play? He plays saxophone and keyboard. Okay. And this particular band he was in was back in 1974. What's right? the name of the band? It was, back then it was Mighty Herb. Mighty Herb? Mighty Herb. Yeah. You guys know about that, don't you? Mighty Herb. 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 Speaking of Mighty Herb. Yeah. <laughs> and the band's tour bus was a VW. I'm going to say what they used to be. 
Okay, so. And I used to go with him to rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting down one one particular rehearsal, and they were jamming. They were doing some Earth, Wind, and Fire, some Gino Vanelli. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. And I was just in awe. I was like, man, I want to do that. So I went home and I asked my mom to buy me one. Buy you a bass? Buy me a bass. Mm -hmm. And I got one. Wow. I went up in my room. I put on an album, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. Nice. And oh. I just started playing. Which go. tune? It was, uh, I believe it was, oh. Oh, wow. Mm. 74. It don't matter. I don't remember. We'll, 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 it'll come to you. you that know. has to be a stock question now. What was the very first song you ever played on bass? Yeah. yeah. That has yeah. to be a stock question. Yeah. Yep, if I can remember that. Been evil? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you started playing and then, um, and yeah. playing up and playing some Earth, Wind, and Fire? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And from, I've just been playing pretty much since then. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I put it down for a long time uh, because nobody else was doing it. Nobody else was playing, nobody else was in the band, everybody was in sports. So the people I hung out with, they were sports people. Mm -hmm. So I put it down for a long time and then family came and then life came and mm -hmm. it's like, okay, but I need to pick it back up. So I've been so picking it up ever since. That's cool, you know that happened to me too. I, I stopped for a long time and and, and I, I picked it back up. But so since you stopped for a long time, what made you pick it back up? <laughs> <laughs> it just kept calling me, man. It kept calling me. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I understand. I really understand yeah. that. Too. Yeah. It, it, it called you, and, and so what have you been doing? How long has it called you back ago? Uh, it's been, if I, ask that right, I, I would know. say about 10 years. So you've been playing a good 10 years. What you been doing on the bass for these last 10 years? Uh... I played for a few churches. Right now, I'm like many others in the basement. That's B A S S M I N T. -I -N -T. Yeah. Yes. And keeping your chops sharp, right? I'm developing all the time, ever Excellent. learning. Excellent. Excellent. Good. That's that's real good. Now, um, besides playing the church, you play with anybody else? You looking to play with some other cats or I a haven't. lady band or something like that? I haven't. But I'm looking to do something with my mentor, Terry Tuck. He's the one that got me started. Oh, yeah, Terry oh, yeah. Tuck. That's my, my, my new dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he got me started. He's the one that I saw, and I just mm. fell in love. And that boy is bad. Yes, he he's is. He's supposed to be coming to mm -hmm. the basement, too. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's, he's pretty good. Player? Yes. Yeah. Detroit bass player? Yeah. Yes. Another Detroit bass player? Another yes. one? There's more of us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you have any other influences besides the bass player in your brother's band and, and Verdine and any other bass players, male, female? Or? Uh, I used to listen to Stanley, of course. Stanley Clark? Yeah. Uh, listen to Motown. Didn't know really who a lot of people were, mm -hmm. but I just played them. That's cool. Yeah, so um, uh, Verdine, Stanley, uh, who else? Um, Edwards from, from Chic. Bernard. Bernard, Bernard Edwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big uh, oh, yeah. Just a, a vast array of people that I would listen to. Right. Right. Well, you know, I, uh, I'm glad you came and let us do an interview with you, mm -hmm. Cynthia. Um, Sometimes I go through Facebook, I, uh, Detroit bass players on Facebook, I've seen you there. I've seen you uh, in photographs at the Motown Museum, also known as Hitsfield, USA, yes. where they used to record a lot of those Motown songs that we didn't know mm -hmm. who the musician right. was. Also known so, as the bass mecca. So you was uh, in, in those photographs that it was like like a two million bass players in front of Motown. Right. Well, I, I'm exaggerating, but uh, a lot of bass players in front of Motown taking a, uh, their second annual picture. And um, uh, how did you feel about hanging out with all of those bass players? Did you get to talk to and network with any of them? I got to speak to a few of them. I was just honored to be there. Yeah. It, it was it was big. It was big. 
And, and when it when it hit the uh, when it hit the bass player magazine, which I'm sure two you, copies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 I so I knew you had seen a, a couple of volumes of bass players before that happened. You knew about bass player magazine, and then now to be in it, what? How did that make you feel? You, you let anybody know? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I took my magazine with me uh, several places. I was like, she was right up That's front. Me. <laughs> I mean, the magazine. I, I, That's me. Too yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I am so yeah. jealous. I, I somebody kidnapped see, me. See, that's, that's. I mean, tall people couldn't be in the front <laughs> unless they were sitting <laughs> on, on the ground. Wait till next you year. Have to, you have to stay in the back, sir, because you're so tall. Okay, so um, now, now, like I said, speaking, I seen you on Facebook, but if uh, you know, this could inspire some some young ladies to play bass, and mm -hmm. and they might want to keep up with you. You never know. Uh, if they did want to just come and hang out, maybe you can tell them a few things about bass. You know, you've been playing a little bit. How can we get in touch with you? Uh, my Facebook page, uh, DetroitBassPlayers.com. I'm on there. Uh, just hit me up and I will definitely get back with you. You see how bass players are, y'all? They bass players love to share information and, and, and you know help out if they can. Yes. She she giving us some information. We want to learn some bass stuff from her. Um, anybody have any questions for this fine basis? <laughs> What kind of picks you use? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, there you go again. Metal. Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> now, do, do, you like, nice. do you ever play with a pick? I tried, uh, but there's just nothing. Just feels funny. Yeah, Because when you mention Bernard Edwards, a lot of people don't realize a lot of yeah, those songs he, sound yeah, like he, he played with a pick. He just he used uses the tip his. of his finger. Mm -hmm. I read the article where he said he would play until it bled, and then they would have to stop the session. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is crazy. Yeah. So that's how he that's got that. That's hard playing. That's mm -hmm. your sound, though. You yeah. Know, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, anybody else have any uh, questions for this? Where are you playing? I played at uh, Exusia United Methodist Church. I played at. Oh, what's the name of the church? Mmm. Uh, Happy Fellowship, Joy? No. Uh, you name it? LFC. <laughs> I was just throwing some names <laughs> yeah, out there. That's okay. Where's your husband at? Yeah. Hello? He's on, he's on the phone. phone. Oh, okay. Where's he okay? Hello. Uh, it's on Mound, <laughs> just Hello. north of 8 Mile. Oh, okay. Oh. Hello. Right down the street from the base show tomorrow. Yeah. That's yeah. How, that's how you feel. Hey, I've got another question for you. Sure. That base looks like uh, you really enjoying that. Did you? Did, is that something you just picked up? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. I just got this uh -huh. about maybe a month and a half ago. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Now, what were you playing before that? I have a Lotus, which okay. is my second base. And I have a Carlo Rebelli, which okay. they don't make oh. anymore. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, both of them, uh, you, you, you play all four string or you play five? No, two? the Carlo is a five string. It's five, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? The I like Carlo. it. I, I that, like um, it. That's the one that's on the picture. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. I really Did like you it. have, this is my first five string. Mm -hmm. I built this for myself. I've been used to four. Did you have a at least for me, a, a difficulty in adjusting to that one additional string, because that addition of the one string messed me up, to quote Sinbad. No. Well, actually, it's, trend, it's going from the five to the four, where you I You started with I the have, five. No, I have. I, I started with the four. Okay. Then when I went to the five, I, that's all I played. Oh, right. And then having to yeah. transition back to the four, oh, yeah. so it was like, okay, where's the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I know it's yeah. here someplace. Yeah, they can, they can get you but, uh, going. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it was one thing for sure, I didn't steal that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anybody else got any questions for this fine Detroit bass player? Anyone? Anyone? Um, Bueller. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Your. No, they just want to play. That's biggest all they want to do. Stylist influence. Um, in terms of your approach, yeah. Mm -hmm. One bass player, if you had to pick one. I know it's a little question. Uh, mm. Yeah, that is. 
because I was also listening to Larry Graham. Mm -hmm. Okay, the and father of pop and swag. Yeah, indeed, exactly. Indeed. And then okay. when Marcus came along and I knew who he was, it's like, oh, okay. He's, he's doing some other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And Victor was doing some other kind of oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, I, eventually I will learn to do that kind of stuff. Cool. Yep. Okay. Okay, so, um, you know, I ain't want to keep you, you uh, know. Yeah, you but, say that to everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know you got things to do, places to go, people to see and stuff, but uh, is there anything you'd like to say in closing before you play us out? I am very happy to be here. Okay, so uh, so could you just play us a little bit of something so I can, you know, just roll the credits? Okay. What you gonna play? Uh, okay, let me, let me try this one. Mm -hmm. 